welcome back to another one hope you are having a great day and today we are going to take a look on how to have google play store on windows 11 or on windows 10 the easiest and fastest way that i'm aware at this moment we have done a few tutorials in the past but today with just one click we will have Play Store on Windows 10 or Windows 11. By the way, if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out cdkesales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen, it will get even cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, I will leave the link down below. Now let's go to the tutorial and there are just two steps before we click one button. First of all, if you have been messing around with the Android subsystem, we will need to remove it. So just make sure go to the windows search search for android and if you have the android subsystem just press with right click and uninstall if you don't have then all is okay the second step is to make sure that we have the virtual platform activated and for that just go to search and go to windows functionalities and just check if you have the virtual platform active if you don't then activate and reboot the computer if you already have then all is okay and we can proceed and now let's go to the fun part just go to google search for wsa builds and the first page that we will find is the github page and just select it and we will find several versions for windows 10 windows 11 or even older versions that we are not going to talk today just select your operating system in my particular case i did select windows 11 and then we will be directed to a page where we will have several options now i did choose the first option that says with google play store and without amazon store and this step is important that we remember the version that we download because of the way that the updates are made so in three or four months if we want to update and we don't want to lose the data that we already have on our google play store we will need to use the same version so just have this in mind now once we select we just need to download it and put it on a folder that we know that we will not delete it in my case i did put it on the document folder and that way i know that i will not erase it once we have it there just unzip all the content and search for the run file and we just need to click on that actually it's two clicks not one double click on that one and run the installation file there is a pop-up that may appear saying that windows is protecting but just press on more info and continue anyway and from there it will start the powershell automatically and it will do everything by itself we will not need to do anything else it does all the magic by itself it only asks once to press on the continue we will do that and in a matter of a few seconds we will have the google play store ready to log in and start installing our apps if by any reason you will get a second window just press on continue and that will be just fine now i did log in with my account and i did start installing apps and my experience was overall great but there are a few issues that i want to share with you now in terms of the apps i did try whatsapp instagram netflix and similar no issues whatsoever everything was working fine in terms of games the experience was more or less great and this i believe that will depend on the game will depend on our experience and i would ask if possible to leave down below on the comment section your experience and if you are using this method or any other method on my test i did use angry birds and it was 100 percent okay i was able to use full screen off screen and all the resolutions that i wanted just joking but the experience was great i also installed asphalt 8 and the experience was great with the exception that i was not able to use full screen so this was the only game that did not allow me that i did install pubg which is an interesting game but it did crash twice on me so i have given up for this moment and i also did install king of fighters all stars which worked great but sometimes the fps did not work as good I was not measuring the fps but sometimes it did dip below the 30 which the experience was not 100 percent perfect by the way the computer that we are using is the b-link series 5 we have reviewed it right over here and i will leave a link 
right on the top hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen and if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it to keep on receiving tips such as this one my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one